Do you know these guys who always come up with the most ridiculous hypercars with horsepower numbers that are just straight up insane? But this time, they've taken it to a whole new level. Picture this. An electric motor that's somehow smaller than your head, but packs a mind-blowing 330 horsepower. Yep, you heard that right. 330 horsepower. Meet the Koenigsegg Quark E-Motor, an absolute game-changer in the world of electric vehicles. Now, before you think, all electric cars are boring, let me stop you right there. This is anything but your average electric motor. Koenigsegg has achieved something extraordinary by creating a motor that's not only insanely powerful, but also incredibly compact. And they didn't stop at just one. They've developed two of these marvels, the Quark and the Terrier. When you pair these two motors with a single inverter, you get an astonishing 660 horsepower, all while weighing less than 85 kilos. That's like having a beastly power pack you can almost carry in your backpack. Now, I know what you're thinking. How did they manage to fit all that power into something so small? Well, that's the magic of Swedish engineering. Koenigsegg has crafted an electric motor that's both efficient and incredibly powerful. The secret lies in its innovative design. So, how does it work? Before we dive into the juicy details, let's take a quick trip down Minery Lane to revisit the history of Koenigsegg. It all began in 1994 when a young Christian von Koenigsegg, just 22 years old, set out to fulfill his lifelong dream of building the world's ultimate super sports car. Fast forward two years, and after relentless hard work, the first Koenigsegg creation was born, leaving drivers like Rickard Rydell, Pico Troberg, and Kelly Rosenblatt utterly mesmerized after test driving it. And if you want to make a name for yourself in the automotive world, you've got to go big or go home, right? So, Koenigsegg showcased their masterpiece at the Cannes Film Festival. Soon after, the Koenigsegg CC8S made its grand debut at prestigious motor shows in Paris and Geneva. In 2002, Christian's dream became a reality when Koenigsegg's first proper production car was unveiled, and it was a true game-changer. The Koenigsegg CC8S's engine was certified by Guinness World Records as the most powerful engine in a mass-produced car. And if that wasn't impressive enough, this powerhouse was based on a Ford V8, but Koenigsegg reworked it into something extraordinary. Now back to Koenigsegg's tiny quarky motor. Quark is a marvel of engineering that's perfect for a wide range of applications, such as aerospace, marine, and EV powertrains. To come up with this groundbreaking motor, the brilliant minds at Koenigsegg combined two fundamentally different motors into one unique design. So, let's talk about magnetism, shall we? It's a crucial part of how electric motors work. Koenigsegg has ingeniously combined two methods to create the quarky motor. They call it raxial flux, which sounds made up because it is. But fear not, raxial flux is a fusion of radial and axial flux, two different ways electric motors function. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, let me break it down. Picture this. You have coils that rotate between magnets, and depending on which way they go, the axial does it along the axis, that's more perpendicular, and the radial does it running outside the weight. Radial flux motors are cheap to create and widely available in EVs, but they need more revs to produce peak power. On the other hand, axial flux motors offer more torque at low revs, but require lightweight and extremely durable materials to withstand a lot of stress. By combining these two motors, Koenigsegg has created a class-leading torque-to-power to RPM to weight matrix, making the Quark E motor a powerhouse in a tiny package. The Quark E motor weighs a mere 30 kilos, which is lighter than the motors Tesla used in its everyday models. To give you an idea, that's about the same weight as a giant otter, a double radiator, a bear cub, a garden bench, and a pair of speakers. Now that's impressive. So what kind of power does the quark motor generate, you ask? Well, the quark produces an astounding 335 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. However, it's good to keep in mind that the peak power lasts only for about 20 seconds before dropping to 134 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. But still, that's more than enough power for most applications. According to Anders Shikli, who's the e-motor development lead at Koenigsegg, this motor is made of some seriously cool stuff. The shaft is made of 300 and steel that's used in motorsport and aerospace, which is a fancy way of saying it's really strong and really light. And they've used direct cooling, which is not only super efficient, but also makes the whole thing more compact. So how much power are we talking about here? 
Well, the cork puts out 330 brake horsepower and 443 newton meters of torque. That's pretty impressive, right? But how does it compare to, say Tesla? The plate model boasts a hopping 1,006 brake horsepower and just over a thousand pound-feet of torque. Now, I know we shouldn't compare apples to oranges or combustion engines to electric motors, but it does give you some perspective. But let's get back to the quark. Koenigsegg is no stranger to making things lightweight, and they've used their expertise to make the quark super efficient. They even used air core technology on the rotor, which is the same stuff they use in carbon fiber wheels, steering wheels, and seats. And they're not afraid to use carbon fiber anywhere they can. Have you seen the Jesco's rear wheels? They weigh just 8.4 kilograms each. That's insane. So what's the verdict? The Quark is a tiny powerhouse that's perfect for all kinds of applications. And while Tesla might have more power, the Quark holds its own against the competition with its compact sized and solid power delivery. The Quark is a great option for electric vehicles, drones, and all sorts of other things. And let's not forget that the Quark is made by Koenigsegg, a company that knows a thing or two about making high-performance machines. They've taken their expertise in lightweight design and applied it to the Quark, resulting in a motor that's small, light, and incredibly powerful. So, where exactly will the Quark be used? Well, it's not your typical full EV approach like Tesla's. Instead, the Quark has been designed to work in tandem with an internal combustion engine. And not just any engine, but the Koenigsegg Gemra's TFG engine, which uses their super cool camless free valve technology. Now, if you're familiar with Koenigsegg, you know they like to do things a little bit differently than everyone else. From their crazy horsepower to their wild doors, they're always pushing the boundaries. And the TFG engine is no exception. It's a relatively small two-letter twin turbocharged three-cylinder powertrain, but don't let that fool you. When combined with the electric motor on the crankshaft, it produces a hopping 600 brake horsepower for the front wheels. And for rear drive, there's a single electric motor on each of the rear wheels. The Gemra has four seats, eight cup holders, and a combined output of 1700 horsepower. That's just mind boggling. And the quirky motor is the key to making all of this work together like a tiny little Swedish tag team. The idea is that the E-motor will handle the low down grunt for instant acceleration, while the combustion engine kicks in for the top end punch. And according to Koenigsegg, all of this means that the Gemra will effortlessly surge to a top speed of 248 miles an hour. But Koenigsegg isn't stopping there. Along with the Quark, they've also announced the Terrier, which will find its way into completely electric models. Despite its small size and weight of only 85 kills, the Terrier is capable of a hopping 660 brake horsepower. And it's a torque vectoring unit, which means it can electronically vary the torque and send it to each wheel for better handling. It's like a tiny, energetic, and fearless terrier that's ready to take on anything. So, what does all of this mean for the future of cars? Well, it means that Koenigsegg is pushing the boundaries once again and paving the way for a new generation of cars. With the Quark and Terrier, they're able to combine the best of both worlds, the instant acceleration of an electric motor and the top-end punch of a combustion engine. And with the Gemra plug-in hybrid model and other future PHEVs, we can only imagine what they'll come up with next.